What's going on everybody? This video is going to be a tutorial on how to make a simple continuous rotation servo for your pan when you're FPVing. Alright, obviously I'm not using a GoPro to go on this small 9 gram servo, but it's just a an example basically what I'm talking about. Basically when you're FPVing you want to be able to look around a little bit when you're cruising up there in the air. So this would be a simple way to do it. Um, a lot of servos, they have stops or locks on them. That way you can only turn 90, 180 degrees. And it would be cool if you were able to turn that camera all the way around so you can look in the back of the plane. Alright, so this is how we do it. Um, basically, you want to start off with removing all the screws in the back of the servo. Once you have the screws all loosened up, just slowly pull them out. And with these small servos, you got to be careful not to strip the screw heads or else it becomes a pain to get them out or put them back in. Make sure you're holding the casing, that way it doesn't come apart on you. Like so. The first one that you're going to take off is the top part. Alright, this servo comes in three pieces, basically the top, middle, and bottom. And when you're taking the top part out, just be very careful you don't pop those gears off. And what you're going to want to do is take a picture of those gears. That way you know in what order they go back in. So that's very important. Take a picture of the gears. That way you know exactly the way they go back in once you're done with this whole process. And then once you've taken the pictures, you can go ahead and put some of these pieces to the side. That way it's not in the way. Start taking the gears out. All right, so this is what it looks like after you remove the gears. All right, so this is basically your uh, pins up here. That's the motor gear. That little white piece right there. And then this is your poten potentiometer. That basically dictates how fast that motor spins. All right, so now what you want to do is basically there's a hole right here in this main top gear that it's notched inside. That basically fits on this pin right here. You can also tell that this one is notched and it basically fits together. And when this gear rotates, that's telling your potentiometer how much it has turned. And when it hits a stopping point, that's basically what's stopping the servo from moving any further, the servo arm. All right, if that made any sense. So what we're gonna do basically inside this hole is get rid of that little notch you can either use a small drill that fits that hole this one's a little bit too big or in my case i'm going to try to use a very fine tip blade to scrape that out right in there to get rid of that notch that way it's a perfect circle that will slip right over this notch and this will enable this gear to move freely. The next thing we're going to get rid of is basically on the same gear is this little nub right here. You're going to want to cut that clean right off. All right, so now that notch inside the hole is removed, and I can actually stick a this thing in there, and I can, I can revolve it with no problem. And we've also cut that little knob that's on the bottom side of this gear. All right, before we put everything back together, we gotta make sure that the potentiometer is basically, it's an on neutral. So what we're gonna need to do is plug everything in. Power up the radio, receiver. And then as you can tell, That motor is spinning. And 
and when I, when I turn this potentiometer you're gonna see it go faster or slower depending on which way you turn it And there you go, that's a neutral. All right, once you found the neutral on that potentiometer, you can put everything back together. Just, you, could, you gotta be careful when you put the gears back on that you don't, do not move this. Uh, some has put uh, some small crazy glue on there. All right, to keep it from moving, but it's up to you. Me, I just put everything back together. You just gotta make sure that you do not move that little needle right there with the notch on it. And then you can see now, as I move the control sticks, The further I move the sticks, the faster that motor spins. And then when I have it in center, when I don't move the stick, it stays put. And it can go either way. Alright, so now we're going to put the gears back on. And again, you got to make sure you do not move that potentiometer needle right there. And we're going to use the picture that we've taken the first part of this video to make sure that we put all the gears in the same place in the same all right order. guys so here it is all put back together and i even put a little horn right there so you can see it rotating continuously all right so we're going to power it back up again and then see what happens and obviously you see it's rotating right there that's probably because i bumped that um, potentiometer needle a little bit but that's fine as long as it's not moving too fast you should be able to trim it out um, using your radio so we're gonna trim this out right now bump a few clicks this way until it stops moving and there you go so now you have a continuous rotating servo that you can mount your cameras onto All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment down below, and uh, please subscribe and like. Thanks, guys. Bye.